All right, SD7, uh, had it out with me now since the beginning of the year in January when we started rehearsals in LA for the new album for Day and Age. Why did I move up to the SD7? Uh, I'd spoken a little bit to Chris Pine, who's Kylie Minogue's engineer, and I know that he absolutely loved it. And I loved the D5, so I thought it's a natural selection, you know, just carry on up from it. Let's see what Digico's doing new. And I'd been down to see James Gordon at Digico's HQ about it because he'd been pestering me for ages. Uh, the TPI awards in 2007, he just kept pulling my hair out going, you've got to try it, you've got to try it. And I was like, no, I love the D5, why should I move? So eventually I went down, tried it out, loved it. And then after talking to Chris, tried it out in rehearsals and it was just absolutely fantastic. It's things that I noticed straight away with it was the preamps. Um, you just turn it up and it just sounds absolutely fantastic, amazing. And it's a slightly different sound to what the D5 is. It's not, as airy in a way, it's just a lot more very precise and very transparent. And it was just straight from the get go, we were just like, wow, this is pretty something special. And messing around with the EQ, it just seemed a lot more fine tuned. And then we discovered the dynamic EQ, which is just amazing one. Every channel you got a four band dynamic EQ frequency sensitive, which acts pretty much like a uh, BSS 901 Mark II, where it's just four bands of compression, frequency sensitive compression on each channel, which is just, absolutely amazing because then you don't have to EQ the hell out of one thing you can just set the dynamic compression for it or expansion if you want to excite it on those frequencies and it only happens when it hits the threshold and starts to kick in so it makes things able to stay a lot more transparent and natural I use it a lot on uh, Ronnie's drums especially the toms and also on Brandon's vocal. The reason I use it on the toms is because Ronnie plays in a very jazz style where he'll be very lightly tapping things to get a very nice ring on the drums but then later on when he's absolutely thundering the drums you don't want that ring in there so instead of EQing it out I use this frequency sensitive compression.